So Lloyd, what do you want to do this weekend? I don't know, maybe some laundry, a little bit of homework, trying to figure out how to escape from these darn arcade pods we're stuck in. Oh boys, if I said it once, I said it a hundred times. One of these days you play too many games, you're going to get stuck inside the machine. Little help here, Woo. Yeah! Uh. Please like and subscribe! They finally entrusted me with the comments! Oh no, the copycat just stole the comments! Ah. On the table, it is all about Lego Ninjago arcade pods! Huh, some sort of doorstop? No, Master Wu, it's an arcade machine! They play games! Well, actually, in this case, they hold Ninjago toys. They are the gateway to the Prime Empire. If I really know anything about that, I don't. I'm so behind. By the way, also behind are the comments. I know what a sad, sad day it is finally here. The comments are removed. Thanks a lot, Kappa. We'll try a Discord server. Check out the link in the description if you're 13 and up. I am also seeing some awesome squirrel art coming through Pop Jam. If you wish to draw us a squirrel on Pop Jam, I'll totally rejam it for you. Anyhow, back to these arcade pods. I am so game for this idea. This is so incredibly cool. Typically, normally, almost all the time, the single pack character Ninjago toys come with some sort of spinner, flying, piece destructing, mechanical mayhem contraption piece. This, however, is something completely different and a lot of fun. Uber displayable and so so awesome for your minifigures. Each set comes with about 47 pieces. You'll get two minifigures, a bunch of weapons, and a great place to store them. I started out with Lloyd first and Jay, mainly Jay because Jay's my favorite. And well, Lloyd was the only other one I could find so far. Kai is also out there, and I would imagine the rest of the cast will follow, of course. <laughs> Mine will come in a tea kettle. Sounds appropriate, Wu. Well, let's go right with Jay first. Again, I like Jay, so it has to be Jay first. I believe to get these out of pack, we're going to go through the bottom. And lots of stuff included inside. We've got a bag of pieces. We have another smaller bag of those elemental highlight pieces. We have our arcade machine back here. Pretty much a solid build. We've got stickers to decorate and looks like instructions and must be another guide of things to come. Like a very cool J themed poster. And the other sets out there. Gotta look for Kai's. Hello? Hello? Anybody out there? Hello? So we've got kind of instruction poster going on here. That will help piece together everything for you. And if you open these nicely, just tape them back together and you still have a nice little arcade box. Well, let's start the first leg of the build and see where we go. We'll stop here for a second at the first leg of the review. This must be just the Digi J figure. I think the pants pieces are the same so far. Let's add in his torso, his shoulder gear, a headpiece. There we have Jay's snarky smile. On the opposite side, what would those be VR goggles? And let's find his helmet and drop it. And finding the new headwear for Jay. And I think we're good to go. Now the next part is a little odd. This is where the instructions indicate to store the other torso just right up in front. And the secondary pants up front of that. You kids do some weird things these days. Okay, now onto step five. We're going to build the arcade on over the top, just like so. But we're also going to decorate with stickers a little bit, so let me get that going.
the arcade pod constructed with Jay Avatar inside most hauntedly. Oh no, get me out of here, Master Wu! Ah, it appears I'm out of tea. I'll be right back. Master Wu! Oh, calm down, Jay. There is a back door. This is such a great idea. I love a mini arcade. A couple years back, we built these basic ones from C3 Construction. A little bit smaller than what we see with the Jay's arcade, of course, because we can fit a figure inside. But there's always something fun about buying multiples of these and then setting up a little arcade room. So how are we going to get Jay out of there? Obviously there was a back door. Turning around here, look at the sticker design by the way. Really cool, kind of an asteroids like uh, thing going on I kind of see. Could be several different games. Opening up the back door. Opening up the back door. Opening. There we go. And inside the back wall we see some of Jay's favorite things, including Jay. It's going to be a little tricky to get Jay out, so we're just going to pop open the machine again, lifting it off that lower pad. And rotating him around. So sure enough, we have Arcade Jay up high. Let's go on ahead now and build Avatar Jay. So we're going to use these same pants over here. And this torso piece is a little more exciting. Hey, zip up your shirt! Let's just move you over here for a second. Huh, feels like there's something missing. Oh, Jay's head. Over here on the back wall, which is kind of an awkward place to store your head. There we go, Digi Jay. What's with the gray hair? Do we have a different face piece too on the reverse side? Yeah, something a little more happy, plus a very cool guitar graphic going on the back. I'll just keep this side going. Not sure if I like this white hair though. So we have some fun pieces to dress him up with. Obviously, he has his avatar guitar. Go ahead and strum us a tune. Okay, okay, that's that's probably enough. So a fun little arcade figure. I was kind of hoping for his head to be transparent a little bit. I don't know why. It looked kind of that way on the box. It's still really cool that this set came with two minifigures. They could have easily just had one that you could have switched pieces with. So good on that, Lego. Real quick, let's add on some more pieces to Avatar J. There's some really cool pieces. I don't know what you would call this one yet. Is this the remote control flail? This thing is so cool. We have a handle grip that looks like an arcade controller. Is your flail going the right way? There we go. That has got to be the most exciting piece of this set. Also, this must be your avatar status bar he's gonna hold on to, I guess. Is there a way to click this on his back, by the way? Oh, okay, there is. I thought maybe he was going to be holding on to it. There we go. Now we have a status bar up top. Looks like he's took a hit already. Really like the vibrancy of these extra mini pieces. And there are a lot included. I see a couple sword pieces. And you could probably add that onto your little arcade flail. A couple smaller knife pieces, a couple larger sword pieces, a couple banana weapon pieces. What's the correct term for this? Oh, that's right. Comments are gone. <laughs> Discord. And really, you can probably customize this back wall to hold your weapons any way you want. They probably could have included a few more of these clips, would have been nice. But most fun this has been, building a small little arcade pod for Jay. Really thinking outside the arcade box from LEGO this time with Ninjago. Something a little different to go with. So I suppose now we'll clean up, and we'll go test out Lloyd, see what he's up to. Ah, there's Lloyd now. Lloyd with 48 pieces, so one more piece than Jay's. And again, I can't say enough about this awesome box design with these. Not only do they build a little arcade mini machine, but they are an arcade mini machine box. Pretty good to display with. I would not want to throw these out if you were a hoarder like I am. All right, let's go ahead and build up Lloyd. And constructed Laloid's arcade machine. All in green, we have his famous dragon going down the side. Love the stickers again on these. Besides colors, slightly different in construction. The tops are just a little different. Peering inside, we can see Digi Lloyd. Let's remove so we can see these figures better up close. And Digi Lloyd standing, let's add on his little avatar status. He also has a very cool handheld gaming weapon. Really quite fun these guys are. So let's build up Avatar Lloyd. 
And Avatar Lloyd is just as crazy as Avatar J. Gold pants this time, so we actually have a different pants piece, which is nice. And let's see if we could find... Oh, I keep misplacing his little hoodies. Oh wait, it's on this back here. There's two of them, two included. Not a hoodie, a mask. And for a weapon, he's got a bat, so Digi Lloyd is some sort of common thug, apparently. Oh wait, Avatar. Avatar Lloyd is a common thug. I'm getting the names mixed up. That is too funny. I believe because of the mohawk, we are not going to have a double face with this one. That would just be too weird to have a face peeking out of the mohawk. We have a hoodie on the back of the torso piece. Fun little minifigure. Again, lots of little extra pieces here to make your own weapons. I love these little knives. I think these are my favorites in the uh, little bright colors. All these weapons, by the way, are the same piece color. So if you collect Kai, I imagine they would be the same too. Maybe one day I'll find Kai if I build another Ninjago set. This winter I'll find Kai and add him into the group. But these have been just terrific fun. Really like the gaming element going on with these Ninjago characters going back to the very first episode. Weren't they playing games? And let's throw them back in their arcade machines real quick. We'll leave these guys out. And there we go. What do you think, Master Wu? I'm out of tea, I gotta go to the store. Lots of help from Master Wu today. So if you're looking for these sets, they release January 1st, 2020. They run approximately $10 a piece, which is a pretty good value for this size of set. Oh, don't forget, there's also some extra little sticker decals on these sheets to customize yourself. You can place all these tiny stickers wherever you want throughout the arcade machine. I kind of like that idea, but I kind of like them clean right now. Again, if you're looking to comment and talk about Let's Try Discord today, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll give it a shot. Also, don't forget Instagram and Pop Jam and TikTok will take comments there too. Thank you for watching!